Hello, hello, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And in this series, we will focus on the Stranger missions, which are essentially the side quests of the game. And here we are at the Chapter 2 level, and today we are going to take on uh, a photo session, shall we say. So we need to make our way over to our destination and where we can encounter our stranger and he is not far from Strawberry so we are going to fast travel to Strawberry and then we can hoof it the rest of the way meet up with our stranger and quite possibly save their lives so where we're aiming for is around about here on the map as you can see it's just by the Z of the Elizabeth in West Elizabeth and just at the bend of the road here we should just in the trees encounter a gentleman with a camera of sorts it's an early photography device so let's go over and introduce ourselves and see what he is all about. Hello, mister. Oh. Hello. Why the day, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or well, that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy housefrau or pompous middle-class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just... There. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I'm trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators Kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes, not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh, good heavens. My bag, that thing is robbing me. Oh, good heavens. Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. So it looks like we'll be doing a good deed for the day and we better catch that damn coyote. So where did it go? Ah, there you are. Come here you. Bring back that bag. That doesn't suit your fur. Right, come here. Where'd you go? It must be over here. Nope, there you go. I saw you. Off to the left around the rock I can just as I turn catch the tail disappearing around the, the corner somewhere uh, and it looks like well we lost the coyote but we do still have the bag and the bag was the goal so we're gonna take said bag and return it to its owner bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population. <laughs> you are a gentleman. The bag also had a lot of my supplies. You've saved me days. I am can't thank you enough. I'm, I'm, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm, uh, you take care, sir. <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten. I realize I am a fool. <laughs> Forgive me. And thank you very much once again. So there we have our first encounter with Albert. Uh, we do encounter him again uh, about three or four more times. Uh, if you wait a few in-game days, he will pop up on the map somewhere and we can then go and visit with him once again. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So here we are just uh, west of Wallace Station, uh, 
place called Watson's Cabin and if we come here a few days later we will bump into Albert once again. Or is it an Easter egg? We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up, we're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Ah, uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. Oh, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many... D wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh, there's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Put the weapon down, please. They've given no cause. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. <laughs> you fell off them, Mr. Morgan. Help! Oh, they're just... Kept the wolves from the door. Ah! Come on. Snap out of it. You're safe. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well... Who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. So, there is our second encounter with Albert. And once again, if we move on and wait a couple of days usually around two days uh, he will once again reappear and once again be trying to photograph something deadly so our third encounter happens just north of emerald ranch and we will find albert just here in this marshland looking for i believe this time something less predatory so let's go and catch up with albert so you're still alive <laughs> mr morgan how are you indigestible apparently aside from that very well how's the project going well this is god's country and i am his faithful servant although perhaps not his most talented one I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, 
That might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> ah, so horses it is. Now, uh, horses are rather docile and somewhat skittish. So I have no fear of them, unlike the wolves, which is why I was trying to get my shots lined up nice and early. So we're just going to go and track down these horses who are just up on the, or just over the ridge of this hill over here. And we're going to lead them and drive them back towards Albert, who will then photograph them. So this one very much, or very much less life threatening. So the horses are just up by this oak tree up ahead of us. They are some of them over there and the rest right here. So all we've got to do is drive these horses back the way we came. Uh, what we're going to do is aim them basically at Albert. Uh, see if we can't drive them straight past him. So come on horsies. Can we go a little bit faster please horsies? That's it, keep going straight horsies. You're doing very well. So we're just going to drive these horses straight back. Uh, once we get nice and close, we'll see if we can't either spook them or get them galloping in some way. Preferably through one of those shallow pools that Albert is next to. So we'll get a nice sort of splashy effect. We want Albert to have a nice photograph and do well at his hobby. We always wish people well at their hobbies. It's just something we would like to do. So we're nearly there now. So once we get across this bit of water over here, we're going to try and get the horses to speed up a little bit. So see if we can't get them galloping. And Albert is just off in the distance. We're going to veer off now at this point. And they've gone through the water nicely. I don't know if Albert got a photo of them going through the water or not. Possibly he did. And the only way we're really going to find out is if we go back and speak to Albert himself. makes you a genius you're too kind <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along oh amazing here I have a print of the wolves before they tried to eat us hmm. it's for you that's real fine well thank you take care mr. Mason you too sir you too So that is our third encounter with Albert Marsden, or Marston, I can't remember his name. And we have a nice picture of our encounter with the wolves. Now all of these pictures that we are helping with are available in the gallery at St. Denis later in the game. But for now we're going to move on to our fourth encounter with Albert. And he is going to be located in the Blue Water Marsh area around Lagars. So all we've got to do is approach him one more time. And as this is alligator country, I fear we're back to hunting predators. All right. They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligator? Only the basics. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. 
Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? Well, you stay there, you'll get a great shot. Then you'll get eaten. What a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary... If you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. The 10% who survived, they're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um, oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Pull into the northwest there. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. We'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. They brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Oh, look! On that little beach! Boars! If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. glory and cruelty are you sure we should stop here could have been you if you stayed on that bank where i found you don't okay so um now it's southwest or due west you know in the season there are more alligator hunters down here than than alligators Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop here. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? <laughs> yes. Yes, there. Oh, no, he's gone. Ah. Can you stop the boat just there, off the island? Sure. But we stop too long. Locals are going to start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. Turn us around, so, so I'm facing it, please. Maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. That's the spirit. Out you go, then. Get him and, uh, get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. I don't like this. Not one bit. Keep going. Through the palms. This isn't a hunting trip. Please, put it down. Over here, boy. Got some juicy, fat humans for you to eat. Oh, he's awake. No, 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 no. Come on, Gator. Quick! Jump in the boat! In, 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 in! Got him! What a specimen! Nearly got him eating me! I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. Head southeast, good man. We have a final spot to check.
in the channel. You see its head? Hooking up there. Line us up to it. spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. Excellent. Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, surely. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe, maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They gonna be any good? Oh. I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Well, I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. So that is our fourth encounter with Albert. Uh, we have one more to go. Uh, again, each time we have to wait a couple of days. And our next encounter with Albert will be around Caliban's seat. And we're up the mountain here. And right on the very edge we can find Albert. Let's hope he doesn't slip off or get carried away by an eagle. Mr. Mason? Oh, oh. Mr. Morgan? You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle. They're there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense. But not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh! 
of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. So that was our final encounter with Albert and the Academia for Ang Amateurs uh, side mission now complete. And as I said, you can find those photos in the gallery in St. Denis. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.